This is Arv, and today we are going to do a couple of cool air and water experiments. So for these experiments, you need a bucket, some water, a straw, and a bottle, a blade, scissors, and a tape. The first step is fill a plastic bottle full of water, then place a big then I mean then place a the neck down into a big bowl of water. And be sure to cover it with your hand so the water doesn't escape. Okay, the air in the bowel pushes the water up, but the air in the bottle pushes the water down. That's why it's not flowing down. Okay, so the next step is put the straw like right under the bottle. I don't use this part because because it's a little more flexible, like the part you drink from. Right under it. And then here's the cool part. Make sure it doesn't fall down. So hold it with both hands and blow into the straw and see what happens. Okay, do you see these bubbles? And now look, the, the water level is decreasing. The air goes to the top of the bottle and then it pushes the water down. Let's do some more. I'll be doing the tornado tube experiment and it's a very cool one i'm sure none of you want to miss it so please subscribe to my channel so you'll get the notifications when i upload it today we're going to learn about air and air pressure and air is always pushing us but it's invisible but we can feel it like watch this i can feel the air on my hand and if you want to learn more about air got a link of the few air experiments i did in the description for this experiment, you'll need a bottle, a cup, a straw, and a balloon. First step is to cut a little hole into the bottle with the blade and put the straw in. And the hole is a little too big actually, so I'm going to cover it up with some tape. So I covered the hole with cellar tape because it was a little too big. And see, I just filled the water just below the hole and I'll tilt the straw so it's like, yeah, leaning on the cup. You see that? Uh, the water is not coming over here, even though it's, yeah, the straw is tilted like this. And the second step is to blow up the balloon. So the next step is cover the opening with the balloon and my mom's actually going to help me with that. Okay, so now watch the magic happen. Okay, so as you see, the air is trapped inside. Now let's release there and see what happens. Oopsies. Oh, do you see that? All the water is going to this cup now. Like, how is that? Gee, that got blue in the when you fill the balloon and you release the air in it, the air pushes down on the water, which then goes up the straw and into the cup. The last experiment you can show the exhibition to the, in the school, I'm sure everybody's going to like it. So, so anyway, for the next experiment, it's going to be another air and air pressure experiment. So for this experiment, you'll need a bottle and a balloon. So a balloon. But what happens if we put it in the bottle and then try to blow it? Let's find out. Okay, cover the top right over the bottle. Okay, now let's try to blow it. That doesn't even work. That the bottle's already filled with air. So, so when we try to blow the balloon in, the air pushes up and we can't blow the balloon in. Now I have another ball and let's see what will happen when I blow this time.
See, the balloon just filled up. I bet you can all guess now. There's a hole in the bottle. See, this guy can go through this. So when we try to fill the balloon up, the, the air already in the bottle is going to come out through this hole. As you see, the, the bottle is full of air and still, we can't fill the balloon. Now what happens if I suck out all the air? Then what will happen? So as you see, I have this straw here, so it'll make it easier for me to suck all the air out. So when I suck the air out of the bottle, since there's no air left in the bottle, uh, the air in the room goes into the balloon, and that's how it expands.